that's home. <laughs> that's just like the Ravens. That's just like Pahokee, Florida. Um, that's my second home. I got my degree from there, my first degree, college degree. It's part of my heart, it's part of my soul, it's part of my spirit. And, you know, it's everything. It, it the Community College, baby, uh, it's, it's everything. It shaped me up to being a great man because it was part of the journey of me becoming the young man I am today. And um, it's home, man. That, that's. That's it, like, I can go there and lay my head down without no problems. It'll warm a community college the best star here. And welcome back to the post game show. We're going to step inside Coach's Corner now, brought to you by Banco Colonna, and talk with Coach Macon. And, Coach, uh, first off, thanks for joining us. Well, I'm glad to be here. Well, Coach, uh, let's just briefly look back at last week. Uh, Defense played well, offense just couldn't get it going. Just kind of some thoughts on last week. Um, I thought uh, the defense played lights out. They got us the ball back. They had eight turnovers, and usually when a defense does that, you know, you're supposed to win the ball game. On, on the offensive side of the ball, we just got inside that 30 too many times, and we came away with three points. And, you know, you just can't win a game like that, you know, doing things like that. All right, so let's just – Obviously, you put that game behind you. You yeah. saw what it was, game film, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. New week, East Mississippi coming to town. Not only, or no, well, we're going to East Mississippi, but not only that, uh, it's open conference play. So just talk about that mentality of attacking practice this week. Uh, one thing we did, we came back Sunday, we do our normal uh, get together as a team, and we talked. So um, the good thing about this game, I didn't have to get the guys ready to play. They came back ready to fire it up. They know that was a game last week we should have won. And to go into a conference play, playing East Mississippi, that's a game that, you know, we look forward to. All right, so what can you tell us about East Mississippi? And let's just start with their offense. Um, offensively, they uh, returning a quarterback, uh, Keys. I mean, he was the MVP of the league last year. So um, he's doing pretty good this year. On the defensive side of the ball, you know, the defensive line, they got a lot of guys that's got some SEC offers. So we got to play well. All right, and then uh, so – Obviously, bumps and bruises this time of year. Uh, what, what's the update on some of the guys that are coming into the game? Well, um, at the quarterback play, we did get uh, my quarterback back. Um, he got um, hit the last week. So, you know, we got him back. He's um, going 100% now. So, we look forward. On the defensive side of the ball, like you said, it's just bumps and bruises. But those guys will be all right. They're tough. So just talk about, you know, you said the guys come back fired up, ready to go on their own. As a coach, that's got to give you a little bit of boost of confidence, knowing that, hey, they saw what it was, they know what it is, and they know what we have to do this week. Yes, um, you know the old saying is sometimes it takes a game like that to get everything back on track. I think at times we got complacent, and the guys see it, you know, the coaches we see it. So, you know, we're excited about what, you know, we got going forward, and we look forward to going down to East Mississippi and taking that. Well, Coach, let's talk about our Bank Oklahoma keys to victory. What's it going to take for the Indians to be successful? On the offensive side of the ball, we got to score. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we got to score against this team. This is a really good team. You know, if we score points and our defense continue to play lights out, we will come back home with the victory. Well, Coach, I appreciate your time. I know uh, getting big uh, time now that conference plays here. Uh, any final thoughts or anything you'd like to shout out to the crowd? I just want everybody to come out, um, continue to support us. Um, the guys are still working hard for us. Um, we look forward to bringing this back home. High school seniors, make your plans to join us September the 26th for Fall Preview Day at Itawamba Community College. Come see what all ICC has to offer you and your future from faculty members within the programs of your interest. Get free admission to the football game, and two lucky seniors will compete for a $1,000 scholarship during halftime. Registration is open now at iccms.edu slash previewdays. Itawamba Community College, the best start here.